Hello friends, welcome to a new watercolor tutorial. I am Vanitha Smangathil. In this video, we will make this loose uh, landscape from imagination. I will explain my entire thought process uh, during the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and press that bell notification. I will be releasing at least one video a week. That is the target. Let's get into the video. Okay, here uh, I'll be wetting the paper slightly below the top portion and maybe at the top one third area I'm wetting the paper and I am applying a blue, pale blue wash to suggest a distant foliage. So that is the starting point. I really uh, do not know what exactly is the plan, what will, what will be happening. I'm just uh, applying the wash for now to start with a uh, distant foliage starting with the pale wash and then as I come down I am slightly making it darker. I am leaving some white spaces uh, in between I mean uh, as I come down I am leaving some white spaces and the idea of uh, that white space is to create some kind of uh, uh, what do you call it as a kind of uh, depth and uh, some kind of interest. Okay, so. Uh, I'm actually I'm trying to think and uh, define uh, what kind of landscape I'm going to make. I'm getting an idea that uh, I will give sort of a stream of water or maybe a pathway which is suggested by this white. I'm looking at the perspective now, perspective of that, how it will look like. Actually I'm getting some idea now that the stream is going narrower and narrower and narrower as it goes far ahead. That, that gives a good sense of depth. So as I come down at this point I'm not very sure how I should progress further. So in such situations uh, what I prefer is I would uh, try to diffuse by some mist of water, I mean spray of water and let everything magically merge together and then create some illusion. So that is what I'm trying to do here. So I have applied some water spray at the bottom and I'm trying to, I don't want to keep it very, very white, sharp white at the bottom. So I'm adding some more color and then again spraying water and kind of uh, diffusing it to a bit so that it creates some, some sort of magic there and a lot of things we are, I mean, we are getting rid of uh, the requirement of doing a lot of details there because of this mist, uh, a sort of magic is created and uh, you, uh, you can leave a lot of things undefined. Okay, so this is how we have created the overall context and now I think it reads well, right? So this is how you can make uh, this uh, uh, landscape, loose landscapes. Uh, we will add additional details okay so we will wait for this to get completely dry and uh, now i think it is completely dry okay we will add some figures if you are finding this video informative and if you are finding something to learn from this video please do subscribe to my channel and press that bell notification if you have any questions or suggestions uh, please do put them into the comment box below okay now we have the back, we have the background and I have added a, a tiny figure. The tiny figure is, uh, the placement of tiny figure is in such a way that uh, it creates some sort of interest. So uh, where to put the figures is something that we need to, we need to think, think and uh, we need to develop the idea. And uh, so here I think uh, it reads uh, reasonably good. And this is the starting point. I am, I am thinking to add more figures and additional uh, elements here to create some interest. Okay, most of the backgrounds and other things I will not be changing much. And uh, let this be on the right side. Let it be a small figure. And when 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 we dis, when we draw these figures, it is just an approximation. Okay, it is very rough suggestion for a figure. It is not a very clearly defined, well defined figure. I'm thinking I will create some reflection for one of this figure and I'm, I'm assuming that uh, this white thing that we have left out uh, is a stream of water, uh, some, some, uh, I mean, some uh, accumulated water or some stream of water and to, to, 
to clearly state that idea i am just putting a figure there it's a shallow water it's not a deep water it's a shallow water and uh, i am adding a reflection there so that it is little bit more clarified that it's a piece of a shallow water right right i think the reflection is reading well the couple of uh, couple of fi figures that we dis uh, we have added is well i wanted to define a, a small cow there but i am not uh, i think i i the shape didn't come well but that's okay i mean you don't have to uh, be accurate here a suggestion will do okay so if i if i modify it it will become bigger and bigger so the scale will get uh, affected so i am leaving the cow there and adding maybe uh, another figure here right so overall some sort of uh, uh, i mean i i just wanted to engage the viewers eye here so that uh, they they get some kind of interest here i think we are pretty much done with uh, the figures and uh, i don't want to crowd it too much okay it may not look good if i add too much of crowd there Uh, maybe some vertical element here I, i don't know this is just an, an impulse and i am just listening to that i would suggest that whenever you do this uh, imaginary work i mean works try to listen to yourself okay try to i mean observe it closely and try to ask some questions to yourself what next if you are getting some idea uh, try to uh, i mean listen and if you think your idea is worth trying please do try okay here i am just adding another piece of reflection there something at the far end some some touches some dark touches i think overall it is reading pretty well some additional details in terms of colors some i am using orange color directly from the tube thick color and i am suggesting the faces for some of these figures and you, you can see that they are facing uh, us now they are facing us most of them and uh, maybe i'll leave some of the figures to look back uh, yeah i think uh, uh, this is sufficient i don't want to fiddle it too much and spoil it it looks to me it looks uh, beautiful now it looks good just a tiny bit of touch of white this is white watercolor just on the top of head and shoulder so that it sort of uh, accepts some light it gives the illusion that they are getting some there is some light and uh, it also i mean brings the figure uh, gets the figure more contrast and attention okay i think we are pretty much done some touches here and there i'm not happy with the cow i'll just make some touches here and there uh, still but i don't want to work too much on that okay this could be you can assume that that's a cow and uh, yeah i think that's it some lines here and there so we will call it as done because uh, i don't want to spoil it by adding too much details thank you very much for watching this video hope you found this uh, tutorial informative and there was something for you to learn if you find it informative please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification if you have any questions or suggestions please put them in the comment box below and i would appreciate your likes your uh shares and comments and because that will help me to take this video further to uh, a wider audience so thank you once again for watching this video and uh, we will meet you in the next video bye bye